so have you ever been a broke college student or you just moved out of your parents house and you're on your own and you're cold and you're hungry and you don't know what to make but you know you can't eat out because that gets really expensive well i have a solution for you i'm gonna show you guys how i make a sopa de fideo and this is a really traditional like a uh, latinx food it's super simple to make but not a lot of people know how to make it like i've been making it and i asked people if they know how to make it but they're like no but mom used to make it for me so i'm gonna teach you guys how to make it i have scarlett and michaela helping me film today so we're gonna make that and this is so easy and it's so bomb and it literally costs like less than five dollars and you can feed like three of you guys not to mention it's vegan so if you're vegan or vegetarian or you know someone who's vegan or vegetarian you can make this for them or just you because you know being vegan costs way less um when you think about like uh produce and like wholesale pasta you know all that is super affordable so yeah let's get in the kitchen hey also i'm gonna be making this on skates i don't know if any of you have ever tried to cook something while on your roller skates but i'm gonna try it today because you know what everyday practice helps but it's also dangerous so be careful but practice every day okay Where can you not <laughs> My videos already have like shit audio and now this is gonna make it way better. Here's Scarlett, What's aka Toilet Space Cat. She's gonna be helping me today because this is like our favorite food and we eat it all the time because we always have $5 only in our bank account. <laughs> and I'm always begging Carrie to make it anyways because it's just so good. It is good. And it's very filling, it's warm. It's what cold. you miss it's from cold, your mama's I'm sick. house. I'm sick, guys. Yeah, she is sick. Uh, you hear my voice? Thoughts and prayers for Scarlett, please. Yeah. So we're gonna be using this big pot, and since we want to feed all of us, I'm going to use two of these. These are little shells. There's different types of pastas that you can use, but shells are our favorite. Yeah, the shells be hating different, if you know what I mean. <laughs> The shell really would be hitting different. They have like the letters where it's like pretty much the alphabet, or they have like the ones the stars. where the stars. Or Melly calls the other ones the lines, but they're like this long. <laughs> the actual fidel. They all hit different, is what I'm trying to say. You're gonna need a can of tomato sauce. You're gonna need like three or four tomatoes. I have Roma tomatoes here. You can use other tomatoes. I'm gonna use half of this onion, some oregano. This says lemon pepper, but it's not, it's oregano. Yes. It's oregano, people, okay? It's not weed. <laughs> <laughs> and we got some sea salt. And we got a can of the Can opener. Okay. And, and you're gonna wanna make the little sauce first before anything. So here's how to make it. And on skates, you have to show. Huh. You're cooking on skates? Hello? Ooh, 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 ooh. It is possible. <laughs> Wash these four. I'm just gonna chop them up slightly. Quarters. Yeah, so they're not like so big when you put on it, like the blender. Yeah, help your blender out. Yeah. I mean, Shout out to our roommate. Um, this is her blender, but we always clean it. We always take care of it. So. Yes. This is not a cutting board. No one fight me. Oh my god. We're poor. Okay. <laughs> this is like minimal effort. I'm gonna I mean, my we have tile anyways. This is like how much. <laughs> Bro, what the. No mummies. <laughs> what the heck? We're gonna peel it. Mm -hmm. Onion. Onion. If you guys don't like onions, you can fight me. Because onions make everything so. If you don't good. like onions, you're uncultured. Straight up. <laughs> onions make everything taste better. It like brings out the flavors. Like stop being childish and like onions. For real. I'm gonna get some filtered water. I have this handy dandy cup. Measuring cup, I'm just gonna fill it up. Um, also, I'm not measuring anything, but I'm gonna measure as I go. And I just go off taste, but I will write down um, like the whole recipe in the description box. Yes. So far this is two cups, but I'm gonna put the tomato sauce in it. I always just put one full can of tomato sauce. Okay. Do you guys have friends like that in your house? Huh, do you guys, apartment? seriously, do you guys have friends where you just, 
or their neighbors are just constantly doing construction work. It's just like when you have like extra tomato like in here, just put a little bit of water and like swirl it and then Ooh. put it back in here. And then it's still two cups. Okay, but you get everything. I'm gonna add more. So so far it's three cups right here. Add some salt. I'm gonna put one tablespoon. Half a teaspoon of oregano. You know, I'll put a whole teaspoon. Okay. Cover it up. And now, what do we do next? We blend that ish. <laughs> Tomato-y, but like good. Like you want to keep eating because that's the salt. Mm -hmm. Don't leave it just too tomato-y. Hold on, and don't be afraid to add too much salt. Yes. How's it taste? Yeah. It tastes good, but a little bit too tomato-y. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more salt and a little bit more oregano. I'm gonna add mm -hmm. a half a teaspoon more of salt and a half a teaspoon more. so good like I want more and that means that it's ready. Yes. Now in this pot we're gonna add some oil. This week we'll do. Dave just rolling around in the kitchen. Walking who? You guys still walk? You guys still be walking everywhere? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put some like oil, regular cooking oil, el mas barato, whatever you want. I'm gonna put like let's see. Bruh. Five. <laughs> We're gonna put five tablespoons of oil for two of these bags. And then you're gonna wanna set it to high heat. High heat. You wanna get this oil really hot. And once it's really hot, we're just gonna put our pasta in there and just like keep it swirling around so it gets a little bit toasted. Because this way it doesn't absorb all of the liquid. It stays kinda like cooked already and then it makes it soupy and then we have soup. Mm-hmm. Okay, break. So this, our oil has been on high heat for like three minutes. I'm gonna do this like little test. Just have like one little one, I'm just gonna put it in there. And it's not really doing anything, which means it's like not that hot, but it is perfect for our soap bar. So we're just gonna put it in and once you put all your noodles in, you have to keep stirring or else everything is gonna go wrong. Or you're just gonna burn your soup and you don't want that. I recommend using a rubber spatula so you don't um, scratch your pot or whatever. And we're gonna take this little burn boy out. We did. Put it there. in there. Quick, quick, quick. This is like golden brown, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, no. This bag sucks! Ah! <laughs> oh, this is a lot. <laughs> Alright, keep stirring this bad boy. So we did let our oil get really hot. So you're gonna have to be quick with this. Footwork. Let's see it. Wait, come here. 
What are we looking at? So you can see like on some of them, they, they're like a little bit white. That's good. You want that on all of them. So this like heat up really good. It's a heat up. It's high heat. It's really high heat. So the reason why it's high heat is that once we pour the, our tomato liquid in, we're gonna need it to boil. So if it's already high, it's like gonna boil faster. But yeah, we need it to reach a boil. Okay, so I've been stirring this for like two good minutes, and it's like about ready. So we can like put in here. These already look pretty crispy. And we don't want to burn them, so we're gonna add our liquid now. And I already know, um, since like we put so much pasta, uh, I already know it's gonna need more water, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add this one cup I had, and I'm gonna add two more cups. All right. Okay, two more. All right, that's pretty good. So you're gonna wanna watch it, like, um, it also depends like how you like your soup. Like if you like it really watery or really thick. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna leave it like this. Since I did add more water, I'm gonna taste it again. Yes. I want it to be balanced, but... It's like rice rolls, because I remember like the yeah, first- Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, I'm six not add anything more. But yeah, we're just gonna let it boil and then we're gonna check on it and see if we, we add, need to add more water and then we're just gonna let it simmer. So right now, it's still in high heat, um, covered. Watch it, once it starts bubbling, take off the pan and check it. Lord, was she bubbling? She ready. She bubbling. She boiling. But, um, we need to bring it to a simmer. Yeah, so there's like a lot of shells. So I'm just gonna put it. Two more cups. Two more cups, yeah. Scarlet likes her soup soupy. I do. I'm gonna cover it again and let it boil again. Cause you, why not? Did you really just eat your donut like this? Uh, uh, Skate uh. while you wait for your soup to be done. Twinkle toes, twinkle toes. Okay, so this is bubbling again. That means I can lower the heat to like a three or two. Um, and now we're just gonna let it simmer and I'm just gonna be checking on it by taking a little shell out and then biting it and testing to see if it's hard or if it's perfect and yep. So it's been 10 minutes of it simmering right here and I'm just gonna taste it real quick. I'm just gonna grab a little so, really hot. Mm. It's still a little hard, so I'm just gonna give it like five or six more minutes. Okay, so five minutes are up, and I'm gonna check it again. Let's see the pasta like rose up. So cool. Oh yeah, this is gonna feed us for like two days. <laughs> I'm gonna try another shell again. So hot. Mm. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the heat now. All right, turn it off. So to complete the soup, I like to put jalapenos and a little jalapeno juice and lemon juice. And my sopa, it tastes bomb. And you can do a little happy dance on your skates because your soup is done and you can and the soup is done and it was so easy. Now I'm gonna pour it up and try it. I want all that juicy bits. Me too, especially me. <laughs> Scarlet, juicy queen. <laughs> juicy queen. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, one and some yes. jalapeno juice. Delicious. Yes, you gotta put the jalapeno juice. What the heck? 
I ain't getting I'll anything. Try. It's winter. <laughs> oh, you know I gotta have that carrot. Literally nothing. <laughs> oh, you got one. You got two, three. <laughs> three little squirts. Is that all I deserve? That's one. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I just have more squirts. Let me see. Yes. Ooh. 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 What? Ciao. What? Mm, so good. It goes on your throat so nicely. Word. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. Is it your favorite? My favorite. Is it everything you ever wanted and more? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I hope y'all really enjoyed my cooking videos. I do plan on making more easy vegan friendly like on a budget meals because this is how we survive baby if any of y'all try this soup please let me know in the comments or tag me on instagram because i would love to see and yeah please subscribe to my channel for more roller skating shenanigans and cooking shenanigans and yes it is possible to cook on your roller skates put them on <laughs> make a meal eat a meal practice skating every day you will get better and if you need roller skates or any other skate safety equipment or accessories, make sure to go to planetrollerskate.shop for all your skate needs. And yeah, bye. Thank you.